Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our live, not so live, market update. As always, I'm Paul Trogdon with Sweet Tea Realty, powered by Caldwell Banker Seacoast Advantage, and this is our Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach semi live market update. Today is Monday. And I am with you guys. I just happen to be on the road right now, so I'm pre-recording this a couple hours before. But the numbers are all still the same, as you know, because I give you numbers of basically the month and years before. So let's go ahead and get into this. And feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all those kind of fun things. All right, so ready, set, go. So in the Wilmington Riceville Beach area, what we've been looking at is about 605 listings, which is uh, actually a 48% increase since last year. Now it's down 3% from last month, but again, overall, buyers are seeing a greater choice, and that's a good thing. We were seeing that we've been 48 days on the market, days, 48 days on the market, which is actually an 84% increase. Oh my goodness, how things have slowed down so much in the Wilmington, Wrightsville Beach area. It was 28 days this time last year, and now we're sitting at 48. So this increase, and we've seen this, we're seeing this month over month. So again, a lot of people are like, well, Paul, that's a bad thing, right? No. As I always say, six months and down to zero months, that's a seller's market above the six months is a buyer's market. So we're just kind of equaling out. So those are the things that we're seeing. Now, again, that's the average. So some homes are still going for four, you know, four days on the market. In fact, I was supposed to show a home tomorrow, but got a uh, um, cancellation yesterday. Uh, well, two of them even. Um, now, one of them had been sitting for a little while, uh, but the other one only four days on the market. So people are still getting in there. If they're finding the right home, they're taking advantage of that and getting their home. But for others, that is just not like it was two or three years ago. You can't just throw any price out and expect to get money. And again, I go, that's a good thing. I always want to make sure that everybody walks away from the table feeling like they've paid what they needed to pay and got what they needed to get. So with that said, those are some of the things that we're seeing, okay? Now, with that said, what we're seeing overall is the median list price this month uh, um, was $530,000, okay? That's actually up from last month, which was five hundred and eight, dollars and up from last year, which was five twenty. dollars So a uh, $20,000 increase, which is a good thing, you know, for people that are putting their houses on the market, and also an increase from last year. Now again, a lot of people can make stats say and do whatever they want, so that might just mean that there might be more homes coming on that are, you know, more expensive. Or it might just mean that more people are coming on a little bit on the higher end. But what we are seeing is a decrease from that 530, almost $100,000 of the median sale price. And again, that can tell us that you know people that are listing homes are bringing the price down, down, down. And it can also tell us that more homes right now are just selling under that median price. Now, that is still up from last month, which was uh, 399 so an almost $30,000 increase. Um, and from there, it's about a $20,000 $20, increase, give or take, from last year. So it's still up from month over month and year over year, which is a good thing. But again, we're not seeing super crazy numbers. Now, usually I pause here and look to my left to see what's going on as far as you know, actual numbers go, uh, see if I'm having any comments, you know, live or anything, and I try to get back to people. Um, so I don't have that. As you can see, I'm outside. I am actually visiting, um, getting ready to leave, but uh, visiting my uh, parents. Uh, yesterday was Mother's Day, so my mom and everything. So happy belated Mother's Day. Um, if you watch my live updates uh, down here for the beach. Uh, but anyway, so I just happened to be a little bit out of town and 
going to be traveling here in the next couple hours to get back uh, down to the beach. So, and I don't know if y'all hear all those no all, all that noise, but uh, yeah, what cicadas? Seven years, thirteen years, all together, making all this noise and everything. It's kind of crazy walking out. Um, I don't remember the seven years ago and thirteen years ago and 14 years ago and 26 years ago um but uh yeah that's probably the noise that you're hearing behind me and whatnot um you know i guess you can see some trees behind me and everything uh but anyway i'm enjoying myself uh um with uh, my mom and hanging out with her and everything but let's go ahead and finish up guys so units sold last month uh was 318 uh, from the month before that was 2.99, so a six percent increase. So again, that is a good thing. We're seeing numbers continue to increase, and actually, we saw a 10 percent increase from year over year, 288 last year. So yes, great job. So again, we're seeing a healthy market overall for buyers and sellers. Where some things have slowed down a little bit, which has helped the buyers out, we're still seeing numbers for sellers go up which is also a good thing because again as an investment as a home and as i've always said that for you know probably 90 percent of americans buying a home is the largest investment that you'll ever have so we want to make sure that our investments are you know bringing in money to a certain degree even though we're not necessarily just buying you know to invest unless you know we're looking to rent or anything like that which again i can help with but with that said I always want to make sure that you guys are the smartest people in the room. Put money in your pockets whenever it comes time to negotiating and having conversations with other people. Because again, I always want to make sure that you know what's going on, not just me. I am your reliable source and or I'm the source of the source for you. But for my friends, family, neighbors, and clients, I want you at the end of the day sitting on your front porch sipping sweet tea so with that guys that is your semi live market update for the Wilmington Wrightsville Beach area for the month of May God bless mm -hmm.